Once again, welcome back to the room for Old Sins. We have three more rooms to go. There's the Japanese gallery, the art studio, and this mysterious one in the center. And we've just found an artifact. Let's see what's inside it, shall we? All right, so we've got... Ah! That's gonna go in the Japanese gallery, I take it, yeah? It's a mechanical cicada. Right, so that's actually what it was. That was just kind of a guess that I made earlier, but sure. Uh, all right. Wait, hang on, that doesn't look right. Oh, oh, hold on. Just move the wings out. Oh, okay. That's more like it, yeah, it needs to be circular. So, yeah, all right, uh, I think that's it, unless we just, like, pull this down or something. Uh, nope, nope, I think that's gonna do us. Okay, so, right, um, let's pop back into the art studio, though, because I've been holding on to this little wooden mannequin for a while, and he needs to go and sit on the windowsill. Okay, so I think we just have to match up what we see on the painting, right? In which case, we need to turn the tower around or find a different window or something. But anyway, you go there. I was kind of hoping something was going to happen, but it didn't. Okay, well, he's there. Uh, the rest of it isn't. Bit of a shame, really. Bit of a shame. I really want to get to that. Okay, alright, well, let's go back to the Japanese gallery. Maybe, uh, maybe that's what we're going to tackle next. So... Here we go. Alright. So it's going to be this table now. And it's going to be that slot over there. Right? Surely. Yes! Uh, okay, that's all automatic. And what is this going to do? Something with the dragons. Something with the, the houses over there. The chains. The... Okay. All right. So what have we got here? Right, uh, uh, we can look through them and see that there is, you know, a jaw to the dragons. We know that because we almost lost our fingers. Oh. Oh, okay, so I didn't realize we could actually just, like, move these around. I guess maybe we can only do it while we're looking through like this. Uh, okay, and the same with the other side, presumably? Seems like it, okay. <laughs> He's getting his groove on. Uh, okay. So... If I wanted to actually open the jaw, right. And then I can go back through. Alright, so... I'll, I'll leave him there, I suppose? Right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's open this one as well. And then what? Do you... I can't drag it all the way over to the right. Oh, no! It, it did it by itself. I just sort of aligned it and right. Do I now close this? I guess I would probably close the jaw. Yes! Okay. Uh, the other one doesn't have anything to hold on to, so it's just kind of like looking and yelling. That's fine. Uh, and up we go, breaking the chain! Alright, so this is actually how we get them out of the table, it seems. There you go, the snap chain down there. Okay, there's, a, there's another bar over here. Ah. Ah! There you go. Now you can help out, can't you? So if I just go over to this one... That's it! A little bit fiddly coming in and out of this to, uh, you know, open and close the jaw, but... It works. It works. Okay, so... Up you go. Or, no, out you go. Ooh, okay, so there's, there's a little drawer there. What's this? What is that? Oh, is that more of the pagoda? A miniature pagoda roof! Right, okay. Well, that's... that's brilliant. Okay, do I need to do anything with it, or do I just need to sort of plop it on top? I think I just need to plop it on top, honestly, so let's go take a look at that. Uh, right at the very top here. Would this be the roof? I mean, do I just... Yeah, I just. <laughs> Alright, so that changes the foot. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, so let's release this. Pick this up. Uh, and let's see if we can maybe place it elsewhere. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be the top of this tower, right? Yes, okay. 
Oh. Oh, it's an aperture. Oh, no. Oh, there's more. Oh, I knew there was going to be something more to this table. Oh. Okay, so we're just going to deal with this one now? Oh. Alright, so what's the gimmick with this one? Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Oh, we control them both. Kind of. They sort of recoil at each other's presence. Um, right, well... You're in position there. So I guess... Yeah, you've got something to latch onto, so bite down on it. And then... Well, let's see if I can control you as well. So... Yeah, yeah, he's not moving anymore. Okay, so you both take a side. Okay. And then... Well, there's chains in every corner. I guess we just pull up and hope? Oh. Yes! There you go. They have enough strength to do that. Okay, brilliant. So what do we got here? We've got what seems to be a gear, a cogwheel. Which I can't actually turn. Oh, oh. Oh, it's like an extendable bridge. Oh, it's at, it's at the wrong level though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I just lower this a little bit. About there. Yes. And let's try this again. I think it's just got to connect to over there. Which it does. Okay. So is this going to be like when we were going through the rooms, like over there? Let's find out. Let's go into the aperture. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so yeah, straight across. There's, there's something here. Alright. Oh, that's the very top. That's the, the next section of it. And look at these dragons. They're fucking big now, aren't they? <laughs> right. It's trapped under the wooden latches. Uh, something to do with this, maybe? Okay. Well, that's two of the corners sorted out. Um, oh, there's another one on this side, it seems. Okay. It looks like it's released. So... A miniature pagoda roof and spire. Brilliant. That's it? Okay. I, I thought there was going to be a, a more complex puzzle there, to be perfectly honest, but fine, fine. Okay, so... Let's take this back, let's put it on top of that, and let's see if we can complete this. Yeah. We must be getting very close to the end of this room as well, actually. So that goes there. Um, I suppose it's going to be that one, isn't it? So... Yep. Yes. So that's it. That's how it should look. So where... Oh. Oh, there's more to it? What's going on here? Is that raising up the artifact as well? Is it lifting it out? I don't know if it is. Right. Um, I don't really know what to do here. Something to do with... Okay, I can swing these around. Alright, that's good. That's good. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, there, there was a light there. There was a, a, a connection, I guess? Is that where it's coming from? It's sort of going down this little white pipe. So if I spin that one like that... Ah! Yes, okay. Um, and then that goes over to here, which has kind of got to go around the corner, I suppose. Yep. They're not touching as such, but it works. It works. And then this one... like that. Oh. Oh, there's a, there's a little fan blowing, a little windmill kind of thing. Okay. Well, I suppose we've got to deal with the red one now, haven't we? So there's that one there. Um, so that's got to connect to this. Which in turn connects to... This, which I guess has got to go down. Okay, and that goes around. Yep. Uh, again, around the corner, I think. Like that. Yep. Uh, and then we go up. Yeah? Yes, I think so! Now they're both spinning. So what happens? Oh, is this it? 
Am I going to get access to another strange artifact? Yes, yes. So that means we're done with yet another room. We're done with the Japanese gallery. Right. That was a fun room. I enjoyed that one. Oh boy. I knew I should have checked upstairs. <laughs> I knew there was some funky shit up there. Alright. So now it's just the art studio to take care of. And I guess... Well, I, I, I guess the thing that I need... It's going to be inside that artifact. Or is this going to give me access to the last room? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so another one bites the dust. There it goes. But yeah, that does mean another chapter is complete. The Japanese gallery is complete. Travelers are easy prey, seduced by the mysteries of a new world. The seal is nearly broken, but is my journey ending? Or am I but one more naive traveler? I don't know. I'm siding with the latter. Let's continue. Two more to go. Right. So what is inside this? Ah, right. That's the panel. The panel that we should see. The panel that we should see through the window, but we don't. Okay, it doesn't look like that either. I think I can sort of spin those around like they're clock hands, right? Okay. It's something like that. I think the yellow's on the left, the blue's on the right, or maybe it, it's reversed. And then, yeah, I don't know which one's which, to be honest. But, um, well, let's see if I can just place it where it needs to go, over here. Right. Oh, was that right? Maybe I actually got it. What's going on? Oh. Oh! We're twisting it? We're twisting... Yes, we're twisting the tower. That makes a great deal of sense, actually. So, let's just twist it around until... Yeah, I suppose it's there, isn't it? The window's got to be looking straight at that, so... Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's go in and let's check the painting. Maybe there's a, a few details that are still a little bit off. Oh, it's the other way around, it looks like. Okay, uh, so... Yeah, so it's the sort of more curved one on the right. I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, let's, let's get out of this. Right, so let's just make a few modifications. Uh-huh. It should look like that. Right? Let's see. Let's see if something happens. The mannequin's sitting there looking at it. I don't know if there's any other details that are missing, but we'll find out. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Oh, this has a sheen. It has a null sheen. Ah! That's it! That's it! We've got it! Okay, fantastic! Okay, so... What is this? What do we do? Oh? Oh, we're just... We're painting. We're colouring it in. Yes, of course, of course. And these sections too? Uh, no. Just that middle one. Oh. Ah. There she is, holding a... Key. There's the key, and there's the book as well. Of course, there wasn't a book in the art studio. Right, well, let's take a look. Let's let's start with this book. What is it? The Principles and, and Fundamentals of Perspective, I think. Okay, so... The air hits me like a wall of ice. I prop myself against it and drive my legs forward. My eyes are fixed on the garden gate. My shoulder turned hard against my home, my husband, my life. I know if I look back now, my strength will abandon me. Each step comes easier than the last. I feel the madness retreat like a dispelling dream, sense the dark creature at its heart. You may take my husband, but you will not take me. I pause with my hand on the cold iron. All within the house is darkness now. It really does feel like that. Everything's corrupted. Right. But we've also got this, this this key, a key with a swan motif. 
and I can think of nowhere else to put it than here. And it works. Alright, are we going to go to Narnia? I don't think so. We're probably going to go somewhere better than that, to be honest. Alright, okay. Uh, we're just going to paint this in again, are we? Alright. What was that, like 1.6 or something, isn't that the uh, the golden... Yeah, whatever it's called, the golden equation, the golden... Golden ratio? Right. This is him, furious at her, destroying her artworks. Ooh, yeah. So has that changed the room? It has, hasn't it? Wait, it's just lying... It's just there on the floor. What's the catch? Is there a catch? I don't think there's a catch. I've got another strange artifact, so are we already done with the... Wow, that was a really short room. Okay. Alright. Well, that means there's only one to go. <laughs> was that... Edgar Allan Poe that I just saw get smothered by a tentacle. Can't look like him. Alright. So that one in the bottom right is going to get corrupted as well. Leaving just one... No, no, it's all gone. Oh. Oh my. Oh, there you go. Well... The art studio is complete. I have plucked every limb from this beast. Now, only the heart remains. And I suppose the heart lies within. Okay, before we go in, let's see. What have we got? It's... Part of the shield. Half of a family crest. Where does that go? I remember seeing that. Or a socket for it, somewhere on the dollhouse. I want to say it was right at the front. Was it like... It wasn't on the gate or anything. Was it up... Was it up here where this... Where this is? I'm actually not sure. But I've only got half. I guess the other half I'm going to find... In here. Yeah, this is it. The last room. And this is... Very meta. It's the attic! <laughs> of course it is! Of course it is! Oh wow, okay. What is going on outside? Right, ah, uh, so... Let's see. Not a book this time, but a note. A note to Abigail from Edward. Abigail! If you are hidden, reveal yourself. Perhaps together there is still hope. Never again will I threaten you. I feel better now. I can see clearer. The house is not itself. I'm leaving a trail of notes, but they amount to little help. Occasionally, I stumble on a note I swear I have yet to write. If you see me, tell me to stop and rest. You were always the one that made me rest. Edward. Okay. That's kind of weird. So he's going sort of like back and forth in time as he goes in and out of the rooms. Okay. Uh, let's see, shall we? Let's have a look at the foyer area. Chapter 1. All right. So what are we doing here? Okay, so this can turn, but you can't. That's Abigail, I take it. Did I see another model actually on the other side? Was that... Maybe that was Edward. Right. What the fuck's this? I remember the study well. That wasn't there. Oh. It's like a portal through? Hang on. Ah! So, is he in the foyer now? I think he might be. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so maybe just turn to meet each other? There you go. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Abigail. 
Oh no. Oh god, we're going even deeper. This is the attic. Within an attic. Within an attic. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Why not? This is great. Of course the last room's the attic, and oh wow. There's not much of it left, is there? Jeez Louise, okay. Lots of notes on the floor. Another one is actually sort of pinned to the, uh, the, the bell tower here. Let's see. Abigail. Doors open to brick walls. Stairs lead nowhere. The house shifts and coils. I have searched this labyrinth for days. Always I am led back here, as though there is still something I am to learn from these walls. You were right. You were always right. If you find a way out, do not hesitate to take it. Do not wait for me. Do not look back. I am forever yours, Edward. Ah, at the end of the day, he still cares for her very much. And there she is, in the curiosity room. And I suppose I've somehow got to transport Edward there again. He's not in the foyer, although there is a portal, so... Right, okay. Where else? Okay, the, the kitchen down there? He's back in the study by the looks of it. So the study... Right, let's, uh, let's, let's send him through. Oh. Oh. We can decide where he goes. Okay, well, yeah, which room? Let's, uh... Let's take him down to the kitchen, shall we? Okay, let's see if he's actually there. It looks like he's arrived. And again, it looks like we've got a choice of two. Okay. That, that's it. That's the curiosity room. So there's Abigail. So I should be able to just back away and have a look at them. Yeah. There they are. Together again. Again. Sorry, Abigail. This keeps happening. <laughs> oh, it really does keep happening. We're going in again? At exception, anyone? Um, right. Let's do it. I suppose right at the very end of this, there's going to be the other half of the family crest. Wow. Jeez. This looks so cool. I love this game. I really do. Right. Okay, another note. Pinned to the tower. Let's read. The books. They are filled with our thoughts. The entire library. Month upon month of our lives. I have witnessed my own madness firsthand. The ramblings run for pages. I see now how terrible it must have been. I have read a book about me reading the book I am reading. A strange sensation. I know that you are no longer here. I've read your escape. Thank God you're safe. My remaining hope is that one day you will return to find and read my apologies. I will keep writing you for as long as I am trapped in this hell. I am sorry, Abigail. I am sorry. Right. Looks like we've got access to more rooms. Again, we're starting in the study. Uh, right, so... Whereabouts, whereabouts is she? Oh, hold on, hold on. She's up here now. She's in the attic. This might be the end. This might be the end of the loop. I just need to somehow get him up there. Right, so let's start in the study and let's see where we're going to go. So... Hmm, could be the kitchen again. Let's not. Let's just send him through there. I actually don't know where that is. Is that the foyer? Let's see. Let's check the foyer. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, actually, if we get... If we can get to the foyer, that's going to lead to the attic. So where actually is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. In the maritime room. Uh, so it could be the kitchen. Or it could be the curiosity room. Go for the curiosity room. <laughs> I'm just sort of playing around with this. There's obviously some logic to it, but... Yeah, I just kind of want to see where he ends up. You are so very, very close. Well, that actually is the foyer, so you want to spin around. You want to go that way. So he should be below me now. That's right. So you just need to go through that portal up there to the attic. That's right. Ah, she always fades away. Okay, we're going in again. 
We're going in again, it's not the end. And somehow I feel like I've sort of ended up at the beginning again. Looks like the roof's repaired itself, that's good. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning. So is that, is that Edward? Wait, there's a note down here. Wait, a note, is that the other half? It is, it is. I can search no longer. There is no point. I'm a rat in a cage, but only now do I finally see the bars. You saw it, Abigail. You saw through it from the start. Felt it worm its way through the house, our marriage, our lives. The dollhouse. You fed it the dollhouse. Quite brilliant. It is you the circle should have engaged, not I. Fly free, beautiful Abigail. I'm sorry, my dear. I'm sorrow. Yours, Edward. Damn. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do for him now. But we can put this together, can't we? Yeah, so... In goes one, and then in goes the other. Oh man. Oh. Oh, that's it! Isn't it? That's the null. Is it as simple as just grabbing it? Apparently so, okay. Well... Yeah, time to go, seriously. Time to go. And keep going. Yeah. <laughs> just keep right-clicking, basically. That's what you need to do. And again. Right. That's it. Right to the very start. Ah. <laughs> okay. Right, long time no see. There's my case. That should... That should carry the null? Alright. There's yet more secrets to it. Ah, well, that looks pretty secure to me, so that's where it's going to go, right? Right there. I've got it. And now I suppose all I need to do is take it to the circle. Right. Oh boy. What I brought. <laughs> and there you go. I have completed the room for Old Sins. I navigated the labyrinthine halls of Waldegrave Manor and I overcame the trials within, escaping with the null sample intact. My employers have the soul they desired. Mr. Lockwood's frustrated ambition made him perfect prey, but Mrs. Lockwood is another matter. It seems it was the fate of all involved to underestimate her resolve. Even my employers cannot trace her. One who can evade the circle is one who must be found. One who can evade the circle is one who must be a protagonist in another future room game, surely. I think there is another one in the series, to be honest. I think it's a VR-only one, and I want to say it's called The Dark Matter. So I haven't played that one. Maybe there's going to be a non-VR version of it. Maybe that features Abigail, or a member of the circle, or an investigator, or another researcher, or someone else entirely. I'm not really sure. And to be honest, I don't really care. I just want as many people to get involved with this as possible. Keep the story going, keep the twists and turns coming, so there's more games in the series. I really, really don't want the series to end. I enjoy every single one of them. So yeah, looks like I completed that in just under four hours, and what a four hours it was. It was really, really good. I haven't got anything bad to say about it. It looks great, it sounds great, the puzzles were great. I guess if I'm sort of pushed, you know, I mean... Maybe I was a little bit disappointed with the length of the art studio in comparison to all the other rooms that had, you know, puzzles all over the place. They were so abundant with them and they were so fun to complete. You just wanted to do one and then another and then another. And 
Yeah, I was a little bit let down, I suppose, by the art studio because I was there for like 10, 15 minutes. There was a few puzzles to do. It was really just to get the last artifact. It, it just felt a little bit too easy in comparison to all the others. Uh, my favorite room might be the Japanese gallery. Um, I enjoyed the study a great deal as well. And I enjoyed going back and forth between the rooms, going around the dollhouse. Yeah, this was a really solid game and I really enjoyed it. And I hope you did too. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. You go there. I was kind of hoping something was going to happen, but it didn't. Uh, the other one doesn't have anything to hold on to, so he's just kind of like looking and yelling. That's fine. Would this be the roof? I mean, do I just... Yeah, I just. <laughs> oh, fantastic. That was a fun room. I enjoyed that one. Oh boy. I knew I should have checked upstairs. <laughs> It's just there on the floor. What's the catch? Well, that means there's only one to go. <laughs> Was that Edgar Allan Poe that I just saw get smothered by a tentacle? Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Abigail. I suppose right at the very end of this, there's going to be the other half of the family crest. Wow. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep right-clicking, basically. That's what you need to do. 